Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing my memory spread and this is for the week of February 17th through the 23rd. And for this week I have this kit from La Petite Paper Co. Um, I think that's the name of the shop. I don't see her, oh right here. Yes, La Petite Paper Co. And it's called Baby It's Cold Outside. I really love the artwork in this kit, so I decided to pick it up because these full boxes I just thought were so gorgeous. Um, so really quickly, I wanted to go over what's included. We have the eight full boxes here. And on this page, we have the bottom washi and some glitter washi strips, um, which is perfect to use as headers throughout the spread. On this page, we have the regular headers with the today and the to-do text. And then we've got some asterisk um, checklist down here, a Monday through Sunday box for the sidebar, a water tracker, which I usually don't use, and then some build do stickers and a habit tracker. Here we have some text stickers, a weekend banner, some teardrop icons, flags, and hexagons. And I believe that's the last page. So I don't remember if I purchased this as a mini kit or if this is what her full kits include um, because I did purchase this quite a while ago. So um, anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in by placing down my bottom washi. I think I'm gonna pull in some silver foils to go with this spread because I just think it's like super wintry and it would go nicely together. Um, so yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and build my spread so if you're interested in watching this plan with me stay tuned while I'm putting down my bottom washi, I just want to quickly say that I'm so sorry it's been a while since I've uploaded a video. Um, just as I was getting caught up, unfortunately, my work started getting really busy and crazy again. So I just really haven't had like time and energy to work on my videos, but I am doing my best to kind of stay caught up as much as I can. Um, so anyways, thank you guys for your support as always and for just kind of understanding and bearing with me. Um, anyways, then moving to my spread, as you saw, I placed down the bottom bottom washi on both sides. The washi actually had some text on it and it was written in kind of like a brown color. I felt like it was a little hard to read so I decided to trace over it with my Tombow Fudenosuke brush lettering pen so that it stands out a little bit more. Um, at the end I wasn't quite sure if that was a smart move or not um, but it did make the text a little bit easier to read so I think it was a good choice. Um, anyways once I'm done with that I moved to my sidebar. I first whited out the hexagon in the top corner because it didn't match this kit and then I placed down a full box. In the corner, I pulled in this hexagon icon from the kit and also used this silver foiled February sticker from Artbox Stickers. Continuing with my sidebar, I cut up a strip of the glitter washi to make it a header and then I used the habit tracker to track my working out. That kettlebell sticker came with the kit and I actually switched out the glitter header later on and then I'll switch it back. I feel like I was really indecisive when I was doing this spread and I also filmed this I think over a week ago so I might not remember um, the rationale for everything that I did but I'll do my best to explain. I also wanted to mention that this kit did not come with any quarter boxes or half boxes, which actually made it really hard for me to plan because I tend to pull in a lot of boxes in my planning. Um, so I did have to pull in all these boxes from my leftover stash. And luckily I do have quite a collection, so I was able to make it work. So anyways, I pulled in a couple quarter boxes for the sidebar. Um, that silver foiled utensil sticker is from Hazel Sticker. And then that silver foiled bow is from Planning Like a Pro. This is where I switched the glitter header back to the original color, and then I put the um, strip that I removed from the sidebar onto Monday instead. On Monday, I was wrapping up a trip with my girlfriends that we did over the weekend, and we were heading out on Monday, so we had to pack and check out of our Airbnb. Um, to mark that, I used this silver foiled post-it sticker from Hazel Sticker and layered it with the suitcase sticker that came with the kit. We then grabbed some dim sum for brunch. So I used a flag from the kit with this um, dim sum sticker from Happy Daya Stickers. And then we also grabbed some boba afterwards. Um, that boba sticker is from Hazel Sticker. And we went to this place called Happy Lemon that I was really excited to try because I've seen like a lot of planner girls who have gotten boba there and it always looks so good. And it was delicious. So I am really glad I got to try it. Um, then underneath that, I pulled in a full box and I used a, I think it's a build do sticker from the kit, but I covered up the build do text with this little plane icon from my spoiled planner um, to mark my flight home. And then when I got home, I just had a lazy night, just like recovering from a really fun weekend away. To mark that, I used this cozy girl sticker from Paper Bear Co. And the brush lettering pen I'm using is from Pilot. 
All the pens I use are linked in the description box below if you're ever wondering. Um, so anyways, then moving to Tuesday, first I placed down a header and then I used a flag sticker with a silver foiled coffee from Hazel Sticker to mark my morning coffee. Um, Tuesday, I went back to work, so I definitely needed some caffeine to start the week. I then put down a full box and then I think this is a washi strip that I found in the kit or in my leftovers collection. I can't quite remember anymore, um, but I did go and grab some poke for lunch. So I used the sticker from Plans with the Nest to mark that. We then had a staff meeting, so I used this computer that came with the kit, and then I cut down another strip of the glitter washi as a header. Um, then underneath that, I found this like third box from my leftover stash that matched the kit pretty well, and I pulled in a grocery run sticker. That's from Love Shira, but unfortunately, she's not open anymore uh, because we did go to Costco and get stocked up on all the things that we needed. At the end of the night, I edited a video. So to mark that, I used this edit script sticker. I think that's from Randy.plans. And I also pulled in this film clapper from Mandy Dreams. I put down a full box at the bottom of Wednesday and then moved back to the top. The first thing I put down is a header and then I used a matching colored um, flag sticker with a silver foiled upload sticker from Randy.plans. And then that day I did have to go from one school to the other because of a meeting. Um, so to mark that, I used this um, circle icon. I think that's from my PG printables and I paired it with this car icon from Nicole Hutch Designs to mark the drive to my other site. I then cut another header from the glitter washi and used this half box with a silver foiled IEP flag that's from J'adore Planning and I used that to mark my IEP meeting that afternoon. I ended up pulling in a different colored um, glitter washi and I paired it with this three heart checklist or sorry, three asterisk checklist. I'm so used to saying hearts um, to mark some things that I did later that day. I didn't really have space for an icon so I decided not to use one and then I go ahead and move to Thursday. On Thursday, I first cut up a strip of the glitter washi, and then I used a quarter box with this pencil sticker. That's from my spoiled planner. Um, I wanted to mark that I had a busy day at work on Thursday. Um, I used this silver foiled meeting sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark some meetings that I had. Um, so the first one, I used a hexagon icon from the kit, and I just wrote in the time in that little white part. And then I put down a full box, and I decided to mark my IEP meeting underneath that. That IEP flag is one I got from a shop that's no longer open. Um, and then I used a quarter box with a house icon from Nicole Hutch Designs to mark something that happened later that day. And I was going to fill that in off camera. I had to do a little adjusting to move these stickers up a little so that I could fit this silver foiled post-it sticker from Hazel Sticker. And I also pulled in this emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that I did a YouTube binge that night. Moving to Friday, I first placed down a full box at the very top, and then I used a strip of the glitter washi with a quarter box for my leftover stash. Um, I also pulled in this coffee sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark my morning coffee on Friday. I again had to go from one site to the other, so to mark that, I used this little car icon from Nicole Hutch Designs, and I did grab some Del Taco for lunch on the way to my other school, so I decided to use a flag with this taco sticker from um, Plans with the Ness. At the very bottom, I placed down a half box and used the sushi date sticker from Love Shira, who again is no longer open, so you won't be able to find those stickers, unfortunately, um, to mark that my boyfriend and I went and grabbed sushi that night. And then in the remaining space, I found this um, silver foiled hexagon sticker that came in a sampler that I got from Saucy Stickers Co. to mark a meeting I had. I then used a quarter box with this workout sticker that I found. I think that's from my leftover stash, so I actually don't know which shop that's from. Um, but anyways, I use that to mark a workout I did. And because everything kind of felt squished towards the bottom of the day, I decided to do a little shifting and moved everything up as much as I could to space it out a bit better. On Saturday, I first used a full box at the very bottom, and then for my weekend banner, the one that came with the kit this week was really large, and I didn't really want it to take up too much space um, during the day, so I actually decided to put it at the very top and just have it covering the dates. I don't do this very often, but I have a few times before um, when I don't want the weekend banner to take up too much space. Um, but anyways, continuing with Saturday, first I placed down a header at the top, and then I found this really cute like sleepy dog sticker. I think that's from Miscellany Boulevard, 
and I used that to mark that we had a lazy day on Saturday, which was lovely. I pulled in another foiled bow from Planning Like a Pro to mark that my boyfriend and I went to 85 Degree Bakery that morning and got some bread for breakfast. And then I used um, this washi strip. I think that's from my leftover stash because I don't think that was in the kit, but I pulled in this Today sticker over it and that is from Artbox Stickers. I then found this three heart checklist in my leftovers collection and used that to mark some things that I did that day. I had a few errands to run and I did have to go to a couple banks, so I used this cash sticker from um, my spoiled planner. In the remaining space, I pulled in this Bill Do sticker again and just covered up the Bill Do text with this emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that we watched the chef show that night. It's definitely one of my favorite cooking shows on Netflix. And then I did a little filming, so I used a flag with this film sticker from Randy.Plans. On to Sunday, I first put down a glitter header at the very top, and then I pulled in this um, quarter box sticker with a laundry from, I think that's from the Sparkly Studio. That laundry day sticker I think came in the kit. I then put down a to-do header and pulled in this three asterisk sticker. I just cut it up from a checklist that came in the kit to mark some things that we did or some places that we went. We grabbed some boba, so I used this silver foiled boba sticker from Hazel Sticker, and then I placed down a full box underneath. I did more filming that evening, so I pulled in this appointment label from my collection, and that film sticker is from Love Shira, and then the bow sticker, again, is from Planning Like a Pro. At the end of the night, I met up with a friend for dinner, um, and we got to catch up, which was really nice. I have these adorable girl stickers from Fox and Pip that I love to use, and I had a um, character made for her and for me as well. And then I also pulled in the silver foiled um, post-it note from Hazel Sticker to mark our dinner. And um, I know I've said this before about those little Fox and Pip girls, but I just think they are the cutest things. I have been meaning to order more because they're just so adorable, but um, I haven't gotten around to doing that quite yet. I go ahead and fill out my sidebar. As always, it's like one of the last things that I do. And then once I'm done with that, I go ahead and show you guys these stickers that I have left in this kit, which will be added to my stash for the next giveaway. Now I'm doing a Viv Wiggle so you guys can see the foiling that I brought into this spread. And then like I've been doing recently, I'm just giving you guys a quick walkthrough of the spread so you can kind of see more of those details and the foiling from a different angle. Um, anyways, that is it for today's plan with me. Um, this one was definitely one of the most challenging spreads I've done personally just because I didn't have any boxes to work with. The kit was in a format that I'm very unfamiliar with, so I definitely feel like it was harder for me to make this look cohesive, but I think I did pretty all right given the circumstance and I actually had a lot of fun like having to kind of think outside the box and push myself a little bit. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know if you have any questions. And like I said, I'm super sorry that it took so long for me to upload this next video. I've just been so busy the last couple weeks and I also got sick on top of that. Um, I don't have the coronavirus. I've been taking my temperature and I'm fine. Um, so I think it's just a common cold, but of course I wasn't feeling too well. So I just didn't really have the energy to film. But anyways, um, I think that's enough rambling for today. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.